10,000 souls. Now, the trick is going to be hanging on to these until I, uh, until I can actually, uh, buy upgrades to the Pyro Flame. Excellent. We are ready to rock. Basically, I need to get the guy out of the the room with the butchers. And buy some spells and upgrade my flame and keep at this remarkably silly endeavor. Yeah, stone great shield. I'm not using that anytime soon. You can just hold on to that stone, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, the tree moved for me. Hey, thanks, buddy. Is this tree out of the way enough for me to, uh... It is. It's not like murdering them is difficult. But not murdering them? Decidedly preferable. Because it just doesn't take as much time, and I'm lazy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind me. Okay. So, the only thing in here is a stray demon, or a titanite demon, I forget. Yeah, big faceless fucker. I'll let him live. Groovy. Well, you must be a new arrival. I'm Andre of a store If you require smithing, then speak to me. Okay, um... I'll be seeing you. Be careful. Oh, one of those before. It's my you I could... Well, you've made it.
get yourself tonight. Oh, that's right on the first page. 12 by 4, that's only 48. So I am well in range. This is a useful enough bonfire that I should actually kindle it. I mean, I gotta come back here anyway, so... Okay, so I gotta get the... the key. And that's just on the one side of the door. And thankfully I'm on the right side of said door. Um, but there's still the boar to worry about. On the other side of the portcullis. Now, I did once manage to to drop the portcullis on the boar. Um, but of course I wasn't recording at the time, so nobody got to see it. Look at that damage. Okay, let's lure Big Man into a fight. What's up, buddy? There's no sense in fighting him while the channeler uh, up above is around. Come on, buddy, you can do it. There you go. Yeah, show me that big hammer. Oh, you're so tough, big knight. Uh, uh. What now? Come on. Come on, show me what you got. There we go. Oh, tight knight shard. Go figure. So there's another Fighter Keeper soul, which is fine. Um, now that the elevator's working again. Okay, this time I'll grab some bombs, because I'm kinda gonna need those. Um... Wait, they're over here, aren't they? Okay, I thought black fire bombs were in this area, but I guess I was wrong. Okay, so I've got three Baldur Knights to deal with. I'm a little concerned about that. Um, you know, I wonder if I just went up the the regular route. I mean, I've got a plus five axe. How hard could it be, right?
What are you guarding, buddy? Oh, just a random soul. Well, we can sit on that for a bit. And I think the rat in this uh, aqueduct here... Oh yeah, he is guarding a humanity, isn't he? Oh, it's a soul. That's right. Let's get this little side area. Why not? You know, I guess if I had an orange sign, I could just write, try thrusting butthole here, but, um... Uh, I don't believe I have that option. I think they removed the orange sign in Dark Souls 2, and that was one of those actual valid improvements they made in that game. Um, I mean, it still has a lot of other problems, which is why I only played it like the one time. Ah! God, a backstab on those guys is such overkill. Ooh, rubbish. There's some lovely filth down here. Dudberg you can area you can get to when you uh get the key from the from the church. Oh wow. That thing just completely interrupts your action. You can't uh you really can't even make a swing at him. This area was just such a gauntlet the first time I played this game. Because you've got multiple guys to engage with down there. And you've got this dickhead with a crossbow. Oh, he dropped a thing. Okay. I died here a lot, to say the least. Okay, fuck your shield. Come on, come on, swing at me. Come on, you're the one with the spear. Come on, don't be a little punk. Hide behind that shield. Thank you. There we go. Drops, no drops. And then there's this well, guy. Now. You seem to think I trade. <laughs> okay. That should do the trick. Thanks. 
Thank you, kind. <laughs> okay, so I've now got plenty of fire bombs. We got the residence key to get the mage out of his his thing. I mean, I I don't have the intelligence to cast uh, any spells. I think. Ow! Ow! Got too cocky there. Got to be a little careful about that. Okay. Well, I suppose if I were a speedrunner, I'd already be done with the game. Oh, that was a throwing knife. Never mind. And I think we get... Is it humanity? Oh, it's a light crossbow. I don't even think I can wield that. Nice shield. Um doesn't weigh much. Nothing special about it, but the uh, the physical resist is good for its weight. You know what? I'm going to skip this fire for now. I'll come to it after I get the shortcut. Is this... Oh, black fire bombs. Good. I thought it was gold pine resin for a moment, but that's the other chest that uh, the resonance key is used for. Although I can use the master key for that one, so... There's a jerk with a crossbow here. Come on, you punk, just knock the barrel down. You and your Donkey Kong bullshit. Oh, I have the Watchtower key. I guess I can, uh... Havel's Ring might actually be really good for a character like this. Um, let's go take on the big man. Which is a nice way to say, let's go do something incredibly foolish.
Not even a hundred damage. <gasps> no, no! Damn it. I calculated the odds of success versus the chances I was doing something incredibly foolish, and I went ahead anyway. Well, lesson learned. Alright, I'm just gonna go take on the Taurus Demon and, uh... So we're almost an hour in and I've died once. That's, uh, that's not a bad average. Bag this guy before he can surprise me. You know, I probably would have had an easier time taking on the Black Knight. Although I'd have to see how many hit points they have, so I know how many backstabs it'll take. Um, the problem is the Black Knight and Havel both are not very forgiving of errors. If you uh, if you screw up, you're going down, and it's going to hurt. Really? so tough with that barrel, are you? All right, let's uh, grab my souls and then run the heck out of there before he flattens me into a pancake. So, totally off topic, I've got a hand mixer coming in today, which is going to be nice for uh, baking, because I've been, uh, I've basically just been using spoons and stirring everything manually. Um, but having a mixer to do it. You know, it'll be nice for those times when I don't have the uh, the butter at room temperature like you're supposed to. It's like, oh, I forgot to do the thing. This is going to be a pain. But, uh... <clears throat> Excuse me. Oops. The first time I killed Havel, uh, I found that he kind of rubber bands a bit and can't, uh, he can't leave the tower. Okay. 
overdid it a little there. Uh, so I just, I just got out of range and uh, kept throwing poison knives at him until he, until he died, basically. Uh, I guess that kind of really shapes my, uh, my thought process on Dark Souls in general. It's just like, yeah, play dirty, because the game will. Which isn't strictly true. Uh, there's only a few parts in the game that I would call unfair. I mean, Lost Isolith and the uh, endless, the endless array of dragon butts kind of sucks. Um, especially the bed of chaos is just a complete pain. In retrospect, the lightning might have been overkill. I died once, but I made a recovery, so I guess I can take some pride in that. I may yet get to the, uh, the pyro merchant without any further problems. Okay, we'll let uh, Trogdor do his thing. Yep, yep, big scary dragon. You go breathe your fire. Ah, hello. Hey, buddy. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Solera of Astora, and I've had now the... No. <laughs> oh, I have... Solera's the best waifu. In a... So what... This pleases... We are amid the flood. The vet is not like you to... And of course, but I... <laughs> Right here. 